Alright, good morning YouTube. It's Tuesday morning. Good news is we got a lot of rain last night. The bad news is the grass still really isn't growing much. So, I don't really have anything to do today. It's starting to slow down a little bit. Mulch is slowing down and mowing is really slowing down. So I'm going to do some maintenance on the 6 4 here. Because I do not know what's been done to this truck. Carfax one of the greatest on it. So I'm doing an oil change. I don't know when it's been done. I'm doing a fuel filter change. In total, that costs $160 for two fuel filters, uh, oil filter, and 15 quarts of Motorcraft oil. Stuff gets expensive. So I just realized I don't have my wallet. So I got to turn around. I'm just going to get that stuff. I already paid for the everything else, but I was just going to get gas. And I need my wallet in general because I don't have my license or anything. So I got to turn around. Alright, so I just got my oil. That was only like a hundred and sixty dollars. I came with fuel filters so and they were sixty bucks. Alright, so I'm under the Ford here. I guess the first thing to do is to get that 19mm um, bolt, the drain plug out, and drain it into the 5 gallon bucket. Something tells me it's going to be a lot hotter than the Chevy. So I probably ought to get a glove on. Alright, I don't know how well you guys can see. Very tight. When I first got my Chevy, the oil plug was so tight I had to take it somewhere and get it broken loose. Actually, I'm going to get the air wrench out here because I don't want to strip that out. Alright, air tools have their purpose. Took it right loose to the point where I can actually turn it by hand now. I don't want to drop the plug into the bottom of this bucket. I got the plug. And now this is going to be the oil glove too. Okay. It's still coming out at a pretty good pace and it's already up to four gallons. I hope that thing doesn't overflow. If so, the truck was way overfilled. It's supposed to hold 15 quarts. Four quarts in a gallon. Hopefully it slows up there. Yeah, I think it's slowing up. Yeah, there we go. It's almost out. Alright, I got the old oil filter off playing right there. It goes right here. Right there's the fuel filter. Right there is the massive socket or whatever. It's a 36 millimeter, which is close enough to a one in one and seven sixteenth. I believe the real size is 36 millimeter, but that will do it. It's not that tight. And 
here's the new one. There is an O-ring that needs to go on here first. Alright, I'm going to read the directions real quick and I'll get back. Alright, that O-ring is a one-time use. Where did I just put that? Oh, right here it is. I don't know why, but I've got to do what they say. I'm using all Motorcraft Ford brand. That's probably what was used on it before considering I think all the work was done at the dealership. Grab a little oil out of here. Pretty well lubed. Stick this down in here till it clicks. Stand up on your bumper because some of us are too short, even though we're 6'2 to see inside this engine. That's not good. This one's dirty. So um, my guess is it's never been changed. All right. Yeah, that thing's pretty dirty, which is not a good thing. Motorcraft, SAE 1540, diesel motor oil, power stroke diesel. Alright, I've got three of these to dump in it. Ford's website said it holds 15. The dipstick will be the true tell because one person said 16, but everywhere else said 15. That's probably 15. Alright, just as I was worried about, the fuel water drain plug, or whatever the heck it's called, broke. So now I'm going to have to order a new one of them and replace that. Or a mechanic do it or someone. I should be able to do it though. Right up here, it just would not, probably has never been done. And it just would not come loose. And it just snapped off. So now I'm going to change the filter as it sits. So in the process of changing this fuel filter, I took a full-blown bath in diesel fuel. I was laying underneath it, unscrewing that thing. I broke the valve on it, so I couldn't drain it. It all drained down on my chest, and as I'm rolling out, it runs down both my arms and just starts pouring on me. 
in the process of running out, I dropped my Bluetooth. It's been laying there for a while. So I come in. I'm like, yeah, it's a little hot out. Tell your side of what happened. I was a little, I had a nice glint going. Yeah, you're, you're extremely sweaty. It looked like I was but covered in really oil. Bad. And I was smelled 10 times worse than sweating. And the smell lingered in the air even after he had left. And it's still lingering in the air. And there's my poor shirt. And it's all over the doorknob. And the doorknob and the bathroom and pretty much everywhere I walked. Here's the new fuel filter. Let me just say, I was not dumb enough to lay directly underneath it. I was laying like two feet off to the side, but when it came out, all the fuel ran down the frame and decided to pour right on top of me. And no matter where I moved, it was still pouring. So by the time I got out from under, I was soaked. My entire chest, my arms, everything was soaked. So I decided that I need to go take a shower. ASAP. And it's still dripping. Let me grab the rag again. Alright, so I got everything back in. I was watching the video I watched. You gotta prime the truck now to restart it. Cycle it six times for 30 seconds. And it should fire right back up. Alright, I cycled it like eight times for like 30 plus seconds. So it should fire up. Fired right up. and then shut off. Probably because of the fuel. All right, I got it started. I think I got all the air out of the fuel line now. It didn't want to start there for a minute, but that's understandably considering all the fuel drained out of it. Oh, out of the line. There's the oil. That'll get you a little nervous though. Your $23,000 truck doesn't start up. Crank and no start, but just gotta prime the system. It's running fine now. And the uh, error code's gone away. The a wrench came up on the dash stating that it was not starting, which was because there was no fuel in the system. Alright, so that's the end of today's video. I appreciate you guys watching. So all I can say is subscribe and like the video.